How's it? And welcome to my podcast. This is episode six. I'm going to call it Schools Out for 2014 because we are finished school. My name is Will Diaries. You can find me as that on Instagram and Ravelry. Uh, and in real life, my name is Sally. Sorry. Welcome to all new and returning viewers. And oh my goodness, thank you so much to all you new subscribers. I hope I don't scare you away too soon. So as I mentioned, school is finished for the year. We do school for from January to December. Our, our school year runs from January to December. And December is normally our extremely long holidays. So we are finished until the 14th of January. Well, actually, my boys have to go back on the 13th, but it's just for registration and getting timetables and all of that. Not not hectic school. Um, both of my boys are going through to the next grade next year. I'm dead, dead, dead proud of both of them. They worked really hard this year, and their report showed that. Um, I'd like to say thank you to my boys and to their teachers for <laughs> putting up with them and <laughs> encouraging them to 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 be the best that I know and they know they can be. Um, so today's weather in St. Joburg is utterly gross. Woke up this morning and it's raining. My phone tells me that it is supposed to be light rain. Well, it hasn't stopped yet and it varies between a drizzle and a bucketing down cats and dogs. The high is supposed to be 20 and the low is 12, which is 68 and 54, but I'm not too sure. You know, when it rains, it always gets cooler, obviously, but anyway. Today is the 16th of December. It is a public holiday here in South Africa. It's called the Day of Reconciliation, and I just wanted to read to you what that means, because in all honesty, I, I actually didn't know. So this is from ooh, the best source ever on the interwebs called Wikipedia. It says the Day of Reconciliation is a public holiday in South Africa held annually on the 16th of December. The date was chosen because it is significant to both Africana and African cultures. The holiday came into effect in 1994 after the end of apartheid with the intention of fostering reconciliation and national unity. The day is also the start of the South African summer holiday period, being the first of four public holidays. Um, it goes on, blah, 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 blah. For Afrikaners, the 16th of December was commemorated as the Day of the Vow, also known as the Day of the Covenant or Dingaan's Day. The Day of the Vow was a religious holiday commemorating the Fort Trekker victory over the Zulus at the Battle of the Blood River in 1838. And it is also celebrated still by some South Afrikaners. South Afrikaners. I mean Afrikaners. We're all South Africans. On the other side of the political spectrum, the 16th of December is also the anniversary of the 1961 founding of, um, oh, you know, I was practicing this and now I can't say it. Um, I'm not South African. Please remember this. I am actually British and I didn't take an African language. Umkoto Wesizwe, which is the spear of the nation, and that's the armed wing of the African National Congress. So there you go. Little bit of South African history. Little bit of a, this bonkers country that we live in. I actually love this country to bits and pieces. I, would, I'll, um, I joke with my husband that as soon as he's 10 foot in the ground, I'm out of here. But I don't think I would ever leave unless something serious happens that threatens the safety of my family. I, I would never leave. Yes, I still have a British passport, but I do have a South African passport as well. I have a British passport because I am British. So, that's enough waffle, 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 even though it's just, just under five minutes. I think I've waffled enough. Let's get on to some goodies. So, the first thing, I am in the swap group, the South African swap group. Because really, our postal system is so shite that trying to, to get stuff from overseas, it either gets lost, we never get it, or 
It cost us a fortune with customs. Customs just nail us, and there's no set rate for customs. Well, they'll tell you that there is, but really, they charge whatever they want to charge on your customs. So to get stuff from overseas costs us an arm and a leg. Not just in our awesome rand dollar exchange, well, rand anything exchange rate, but also when it finally gets here, we get nailed by customs. So I'm in a South African swap group and we did a 12 days of Christmas. And I posted when I got my box that in true Sally's fashion, who does not own big girl pants in December, she cannot wait for anything, as you will see later today, I mean later in the podcast, I ripped open my package, I was driving and I was still opening my package, and I got to the box by the time I pulled into the driveway, I went straight into my bedroom, bypassed the coffee, went straight into my bedroom, and I pulled it all open, so I would like to say Thank you to my swap partner, Jenny. My package is awesome. And I haven't... Okay, I mustn't lie. I haven't... No, I mustn't lie. How do I put this? It's all been sitting in the box. No, again, that's a lie. Okay, anyway, I'm just going to show you. So I came in this beautiful box that has got like a lace motif on it. Beautiful. And that's like a present all by its own sin, just the box. So the one thing I have eaten, because I've got some goodies to eat, the one thing I have eaten are these delicious Amarula, uh, Amarula fruit fudge. Oh my greatness. And they've got alcohol in, so oh shucks. The boys can't eat them. Although Matthew's tried one and he's like, eh, great. He's not an alcohol child. So I got those. The other yummy, yummy goodies I got was I got some Mr. Sweet speckled eggs. Soft jelly eggs and chocolate with a crisp candy shell. I got some of those. Yummy, yummy. Those are perfect for when you, um, when I go to bed. And I read. I can't knit or otherwise I don't fall asleep. I'll just knit all night. I read and calm me down. Calm my ADD brain down. <laughs> Squirrel. And I have like one or two little things. The other thing I got because she knows me so well is I got coffee. And this is Dark roast coffee, my ultimate. The darker the better. Your spoon stands up in your coffee. Oh, that's me. And these do work in my machine. So, you see, and I haven't even opened them. I'm a big good girl. I haven't even broken into them. But I have had those before, and they are divine. They're absolutely divine. I got gift tags from Clip Club. They are made in Cape Town. So they are local as lacquer. I do like local stuff. And there's four of them. There is a porcupine. There is oliphant. There is a giraffe. And there is the map of the most awesome continent in the world, Africa. We rule, people. We rule. Oh, and I, I need to tell you that they were all wrapped up because they were supposed to be 12 days of Christmas, so it's only supposed to, it's like an advent. She's supposed to open one every day after the top. Not me. I'm just like, open all the things. So they all came in these beautiful pictures depicting the 12 days of Christmas. Drummers, Lords of Leaping. Oh, the Lords of Leaping one was the socks I showed last week. <laughs> Now. Absolutely brilliant idea, Jenny. Fantastic. Loved it. Love, love, love it. I got a crocheted bracelet with some beautiful buttons on them. Somebody made this. I did ask Jenny and she said she didn't make it. She doesn't crochet or hickle. She doesn't hickle. There you go. There's your South African word for the day. Hickle is crochet. She doesn't hickle, so she bought it somewhere. But it's absolutely, it's so unique and so stunning. It's like so different. It's totes me. 
Um, I don't want to show you. I need to show the one thing last. Jenny asked in the, in the swap forum who cooks, and I said, well, I do, but only because I have to feed my family. So, she so flippin' awesomely sent me my mom's one-pot chicken and rice recipe. It's like you chuck everything into the pot and you just leave it. Totally me. And then she sent some beautiful chicken serviettes to go with it. I'm not that organized, but thanks for the thought to eat chicken and have chicken serviettes. Oh, I just want to show you all the things because they're all so pretty. I got beautiful that, that are not on my tree yet because I wanted to show you. They're going on my tree as soon as this is finished. Some beautiful wooden ornaments. They are absolutely stuck. I love the detail. Absolutely love the detail on these. Ooh, I haven't even had any alcohol today yet. I'm drunk all over the screen. They are absolutely beautiful. Now, oh no, I didn't mention last week. So you've all seen that my tree's up. I have three trees in my house. I have the one that's behind me. That's the main tree. And then I have, we have one upstairs, which is a fiber optic one for the boys because they chose that one. I'm not, I like decorating my trees. Um, but they like more high tech and everything, my children. So they've got a fiber optic one upstairs and I only have to see it twice a day. Once when I go upstairs to make, tidy up the bedrooms and make the beds and the second time when I put them to bed, which is fine. And then I have another one downstairs, which is the one where we put all our special Christmas ornaments. So the ones that the boys choose, they buy a Christmas decoration each year and they all go onto that tree. So we have three trees. They're not as big as the one behind me. Let's just not kid. The one in the in the in that the special ornaments are on is absolutely tiny. Then she made me a project bag giving back to the squirrel. Sorry. Getting back to the 12 days of Christmas swap, she made me a project bag. And it's got the 12 days of Christmas fabric. Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. And as soon as I'm finished recording, my Christmas socks are going in here. It was very hard for me not to use this for my Christmas socks because it's Christmas. So they're going in there. Then I got a, a ball or a cake. This is a cake, right? Yeah. Of the Eco Cotton DK. This is Nurturing Fibers Collet. It's a new 100% um, organic cotton and it's in the faded violet colorway and it's colorway for uh, no dialogue 4414 it is 50 grams this label is too big it doesn't I can't read the rest I'll have to tear it but I don't want to so that's this colorway it's very soft and it's got the same twist as her sock super twist sock yarn and super twist DK it's very soft Hmm, hmm, some plotting will have to go on. And then she made me a yarn ball. Yes, Jenny, I did see that you made it. <laughs> I did see that you made it. It's oh, stunning. Apparently, these are not easy to make whatsoever. So she made me a beautiful blue yarn ball. And I haven't used this either. I'm planning on it as soon as I'm finished here. You can see it's got a, can you see the, it's got a name and 2014 on it. So I'm never going to forget. I think it's absolutely fantastic. And this is going to sit in the, di in the dining room, in the lounge with me when I'm knitting at night or during the day. Beautiful. Oh, I don't want to break that. But the best, 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 oh, hold on. The best, best, best part of my package. And I got goosebumps up and down my arms. And when I was typing my thank you to her, I still had goosebumps up and down my arms. Is this scarf shawl that she made for me. It is out of Diamond Luxury Baby Alpaca Lace. I don't even know where you got this from. It's so stunning. It's so soft and so beautiful. So 100% baby alpaca lace weight. I need to hand wash it, lay flat to dry. 
It is spun in Peru and the color is olive. Look at this beautiful and it's beaded. Okay, there's a lot of it, but I just want to show you the stunning ends with the beads. And it's beaded on the side. Oh, and it just goes on forever and ever and ever. And now I can wear it and oil because, yes, I'm quite warm. Oh, it's awesome. See, Jenny? I will wear it. On a sleeper. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, now I've got my. Oh, it's too hot. Sorry, Jean. It's too hot. It's beautiful. I love it. Absolutely love it. Right. So I got my 12 packets, my 12 days of Christmas package, and I was so stoked. That's a Durban way. Because she's fun. She's from Peter Marisberg or Pine Town, one of those two. I can never get them straight. It's not seaside, so then it doesn't count in my head then. It's in the towel, though, but it's not seaside. So that was my, my I'm doing this all a bit ass about face today because um, my husband's quickly gone out to, to the shops. So I want to record so that they don't commit me for talking to myself for so long. I've ordered, I need to see. See, I can't see it. Oh, there it is. I ordered from from my yarn pimp. My yarn pimp is awesome. Her name is Gina, and she is naturalyarns.co.za. Ha! Go shop her finished. She is a fantastic lady, and she's my serious yarn pimp. I ordered, I have in my stash already two of them, but I wanted to make, I was going to make the Prairie Fire pullover from Tin Can Knits, but I, I don't know, I don't think I'd actually wear it. It's got lace all in the front and then it carries on into a triangle at the back. I'm debating, I'm debating, but um, I have two mustache and I want to use them, but two is not enough to do anything decent for me. So I ordered some more. It is Manos Silk Blend, and it is in it is in black. Black, black, black. Yes, I know. I have been quoted on saying, I'd rather stick hot needles in my eyes than knit with black. But this is beautiful, and it is so worth it. I think I would stick needles. So it's 30% silk, 70% merino, extra fine kettle dyed yarn. Oh, and it's stunning. It's absolutely stunning. So that was my Christmas present from me to me and <clears throat> I did not, it did not make it underneath the tree whatsoever. What else she sent me? She's so naughty. She's so naughty. She sent me this Ooh, I nearly fell on my bum. This beautiful white star that goes so well with my Christmas decorations this year. She's like psychic, psychic or something. And then, because people that know me know I love, I'm a bit, I'm a bit weird. I like skulls and. Halloween is my favorite holiday of the entire year because I get to be all creepy and freaky and everybody else is at the same time. Generally, I am creepy and freaky. I don't need an excuse. But give me a skull on anything and I'm over the moon. So she found these so rocking, cute, I'm not taking them out, they're too small, awesome little rocking skull beads. They are awesome absolutely awesome so now I have to go to the bead shop oh, the tragedy the tragedy I need to go to the bead shop because I need some of those I know what they are I just don't know what they're called those pin thingies so I can make myself some cool zipper pulls and I want stitch markers and I want all the things I want Gina you so rock girl 
even if you are young pimp. Mm. So now I've talked a lot about what I got, uh, or what I'm drinking today. I wrote in my notes that I wanted a chocolate mint Nespresso. Didn't work out that way. Because I'm podcasting so early, Hubby's coffee is still there in the pot. It's not early, it's late, but he's not here, so he didn't finish drinking it. So it's good old Woolworths Italian blend dark roast coffee. And that's the end of the pot, so it's really nice and strong. Which is what I like. So, you can all see I finished my Mama Vertebrae. No, I'm not sitting here wearing it with the needle still in. I finished it on Sunday morning. Yes, I finished the bind off on Sunday morning. I started the bind off during our VKN. And because it's ribbing, I did my version of Jenny's surprisingly stretchy cast off, which is. Every second stitch, I do her her yarn over, and then cast off three, and then yarn, and then I do a normal cast off. So it gives you stretch, but I find that it doesn't unless you stretch it. It doesn't flare. So let me stand up, and I can show you. There you go. Okay, it's not blocked, people. You need to get used to this. Blocking is optional extra. So it does pull a bit on the sides but because I can hoist it down I know it's not going to once it's blocked. The back, Beep. the back and the front. So all it is is a, just keep your arms and your back warm. Perfect for days like today. Although I must admit I made it out of L Cedarberg wool which is a DK and I'm actually sitting here boiling in it. It is quite warm. It is quite warm. It's in the fuchsia colorway. Um, and last week I said I wasn't going to have enough to finish finish it. Well, I did. I had more than enough. I've still got 50 grams left. The band took just under 50 grams for me to do. I could have made it wider, but I was a bit worried then that it would sit too high up on the back of my neck and I'd be fussing with it because that would fold over but the front wouldn't and hoo ha hoo ha hoo ha hoo ha um I love this pattern I want to make it again however there was a mod that I read because you know so clever like this I read after I had done it and I think hers looks really it, it, it looks a lot nicer is that she carried on her increases down the front so you stop your increases on the front quite early and then um, with the increase stop on the front I can't even find it sorry and she carried on her increases on the front but it um, it's not a very rapid increase so it's it just gives you a little bit more fabric on the front, which I think next time I'm going to need. What I love about this pattern, and it comes in, I, I said this last week, I'm sure I did. It comes in full weight, it comes in fingering, it comes in DK, light worsted, and it comes in worsted. Um, oh, it's just brilliant, and it was so easy, absolutely easy. What what got me was, what why it took me so long, I figured out, was the sleeves. The sleeves on the pattern are for short sleeves, and I knew if I was going to knit myself a cardigan, it needed to be long sleeve because I only pull on a long sleeve when I'm when I'm cold. And I had to make it up as I went along, so I I, I had to keep on trying it on, and then okay, now do another few rounds. Oh, no. Let's not say a few, another like 50 rounds, then try it on again, and then another 50 rounds and try it again. So the first leaf took me a long time to do. Yes, I, I, I made my ribbing. I like a deep ribbing on my sleeves. I don't know why. I just do. I like deep ribbing on my sleeves. It's pretty. So I did that, but I did the required. It's... um. Five centimeters. Yes, it's all in metric. I love this pattern as well. You don't have to think. I did um, five centimeters of ribbing on the on the top and on the bottom. So all the ends are woven in because there was hardly any ends because I didn't have any knots in it. 
So all the ends are woven in and I have a nice unblocked sweater that I'm going to wear today. Cardigan. Because it's perfect for today. If we go outside, I doubt it because it's still raining. But if we go outside, then I'm warm enough, but I feel I'm, I'm, I'm too hot outside. Ooh, blah, 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 blah. What else? So that's my finished object for the week. I have a finished object. And I love it. Okay. Now, I, I said last week I was going to start the sock yarn blanket. This thing is addictive. I now know why so many people make them. All I want to do is knit on this. That's all I want to do. You remember I'm doing it out of the four colorways from Nurturing Fibers in her Super Twist sock. Um, I'm doing it to go in my bedroom. So my bedroom is white, silver, gray, blah, blah, fish paste colors. And I have maybe asked my yarn pimp to organize me more gray colorways from Kale. Hint, hint, Kale, nudge, nudge. I want to add all the color, gray colorways into my blanket. So I've got natural, which um, is actually called vanilla. And then I've got Cape of Storms, which is beautiful. It's a, um, a light and a dark gray. Beautiful. I've got Silver Fox, which you can see is the white and the silver. And then I've got Plain Silver. And what I thought was, after I had the brain fart that I wanted more grays from Collet, after I had the brain fart, I thought, ah, but if I only do four squares, then it's... You know, I'm going to be waiting because it's a silly season and I understand, you know, Kole has family and and blah, blah, fish paste. So what I did was I alternated. So here's my suck young blanket so far. I've got a, a natural vanilla and then I've got one of each color going across so that I could carry on knitting because this thing is so addictive. But now I'm at a go stop. Not a go slow, I'm at a go stop. Because I'm waiting to hear back from Gina what, how many colorways Kole will die for me. Um, then I can plan. Because at the moment, Okay, and the reason why I'm using full skeins and not mini skeins or leftovers or scraps is, first of all, I've only knit 13 pairs of socks, so the amount of scraps I've got is nothing. The second, the second reason is because um, I want to be able to repeat the colorways. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to wait, and then I'm either going to... No, I don't know. I don't know. I'm still decided. My my ADHD kicked in and one day I was like, okay, I'm going to use the random number 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 generator. And I'm going to assign each colorway a number and I'm just going to randomly go through them all. The next day I'm like, mm, maybe that's a bit too random and you won't like it. So then I thought, okay, I'm just going to do like a you know, like stagger them. So put the silver over here, put the Cape of Storms over here, and the silver fox over here. And if I do it that way, then I can carry on until I get the ones from Collet. But I don't know. Oh, and did you also see there's a few part in my blanket already? <laughs> I've only done what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven squares, and I've already done a few part. So, brain. I'm not going to admit I'm not the most cleverest sausage on the planet. I have, you know, brain issues. When I went to join my first square, so you pick up on the one side. I did it the wrong way. So you can see that's actually the right way and that's the wrong way. You can see there's a bump there and there the bump is on the wrong side. I don't know if you can pick that up. But what I've done is from now onwards the bump is on the right side. And I do love it. I'm not I'm not I'm not 
it's not like it annoys me because now from now onwards they're all going to be uniform they're all going to have the bumps on the outside so and <laughs> as long as I carry on doing that I'll be happy so I am doing this along with Gina who is GMMC53 on Instagram and Sally Jane from the Pink Hair Girl podcast and she is Pink Hair Girl Knits on Instagram and we are using hashtag sock yarn blanket partners so if you are making a sock yarn blanket doesn't matter which pattern you're using but if you're making a sock yarn blanket then you need to hashtag your pictures and we well me, because I podcast on a Tuesday, every Tuesday, we have said that we're going to post progress on a Tuesday. So if you search the hashtag Sock Yarn Blanket Partners, you'll see the three of ours progress so far. This the, Mine hasn't been on because I wanted to show it on the podcast, but I will take a picture and upload it today. And this is sitting in another swap bag that I got from Tatty Teddy. She's got an Etsy shop on... Uh, she's got an Etsy shop on Etsy, Roma skin, um, called Anne's Work Basket, and it was, we had to choose a country, and I chose England, oh, why, I don't know, so she made me this beautiful bag, um, I, I love it, and I actually get quite upset if I don't have anything in it, so, so far my blanket and four skeins of yarn all fit inside this beautiful bag. And I didn't tell you because I'm a bad podcaster and I'm all over the place and I'm ADD and you just have to live with it. See? Finished. I am using the pattern by Martine Ellis. It's a free pattern on Ravelry. And I'm knitting mine on 2.75. What is that in US? I don't know because we use metric. So sorry for you people who don't. But you confuse us, and we all have to get our brains around US sizes and inches and all that other poodle. So that's one of my whips, but it's going to be a long-term whip. It's a I'm doing. I've I've kind of set myself a bit of a goal of one a day. But if I don't do it, then you know what? I'm not going to. I'm not going to beat myself up about it, really. Um, but it's addictive. It's absolutely addictive. Once you start, you just want to finish, finish, finish. My other work in progress is something that uh, uh, I've been dying, dying, dying to do. Um, it's my holy crap socks. Yes, and the colorway is holy crap. Okay, let me see. Can you see? It's midnight sheep. Oh, come on. Come on. Holy crap. Right? So as soon as I finish my mama vertebrae, mama vertebrae, say that five times when you're drunk, I cast on my holy crap socks. My holy crap socks are holy awesome. Ah, you thought I was going to say Sorry, Rachel. Do not repeat that word, Rachel. And here is my holy crap so Again, Rachel, do not repeat what I'm saying now. So it is, I'm trying to think of a word now, sludge green, red, and that's a deep forest green. And I did my heels because I was a good girl this time. I didn't split the... I, I, my other self striping socks, I've just knit my heel in them and just carried on. It doesn't bother me. This doesn't faze me that the stripes get all muggled up and muggled up. It, it really, it doesn't bother me. But I thought I'd be a good girl this time. And also then I can get more out of the yarn because I've got big ass feet. I did my heel out of some leftover regia, red regia that I knit my niece some socks out of. Well, they were supposed to be for me, but they were too tight. So I made them for her. And that is my Fish Lips Kiss Heel. Now the pattern <coughs> is not really written to make a different colored heel to your sock. So I had to do some jiggling. 
when it came to knitting back in the round again. But it works and I've tried it on and it fits. It's not too tight. It's not too anything. So there's my sock. I'm up the leg already. I'm, I don't think I'm halfway up the leg. I'm, I'm going to make them like I'm like I normally do the same length as my foot and then I do ribbing so I'm um, there on my foot and Helena said to me this morning because the other socks the other other sock I want to do I want to do uh, the sludge green the forest green and then the red so you know, she's got a university degree and she talks big words to me sometimes. And I have to remind her that I'm stupid. So, I said to her this morning, if I on from the outside of the ball, will I get my stripes going the other way around? And she started going all off on optical illusions and all oh, fish based. Big words, really. I have no idea what I was going to say. Anyway, that's what I'm going to do. My other sock is going to be the other way around. And I'm hoping to have this sock finished. Maybe today, hey? Because tomorrow I need to sew. I might have gone and got a lot of Christmas fabric to make bags for people. And for myself, of course. And for myself. And then... Quick, 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 because this is already over half an hour, and I swore blind I wasn't going to go over half an hour. Sorry to everybody. And it's still a quick one, Sally Jane. I, um, I'm going to cast on with the Little Bobbins podcast. If you don't watch Little Bobbins, go watch her if you want some sanity in your podcast world, because she is so nice, and her voice is so soothing, and... She makes awesome, she does, she has an Etsy shop, and, but, she, yes, opposite of me, polar opposite of me. She's doing a cast on socks on Christmas Eve. Now, they don't have to be Christmas socks, they just need to be socks and for yourself, and you cast them on, on Christmas Eve. Now, I'm going to cast on socks, but they're not going to be for me. They're going to be for Deacon, my boy. I'm going to do, I'm going to do the blue Socks that Helena dyed for him the, in the cool kid colorway because he was a bit put out when I um, cast on my Christmas socks without casting on his again. And I had said that they would be under the Christmas tree, but I don't think they're going to be. So I'll cast them on a Christmas Eve. So these need to be finished by Christmas Eve. So yes, go watch Little Bobbins. Get fixing. Get fixing. So I want to say... Two, two thank yous of two, two podcasts that I know that have mentioned me and said such nice things about me. <laughs> One is obviously the... Sorry, my husband's doing Christmas shopping, so I just needed to make sure that he's getting the given list, not what he feels is what the boys want, because he does that. Um... One of them, obviously, is Pinkhead Girl on YouTube. Sally Jane, you are so giving and so talented. And if you don't watch Sally Jane, you really need to. She, in the beginning, I, I, I've said this too, so it's nothing that she doesn't know. In the beginning, she was very um, stiff and very uh, tight. Not really a way to describe a person, but she was very stiff. She has so loosened up and she makes me laugh and I don't really shout at her. I just tell her in a very stern voice. I don't really shout at her much. Um, the other one that I watched last week was Helen, who is Sprite966 on YouTube. <laughs> and and she, she's also, in the beginning, I watched Helen and she was very... Um, nervous and but now to sit and watch her first of all I love your accent and don't ever change it and don't talk slower we I love it it's fantastic but she's just so funny to watch and she's brilliant and you if you don't watch her go watch her now because I just think she's awesome if anybody else has said uh, given me a shout out I'd like to say thank you but I am woefully behind because we've had load shedding and my my morning routine now that the boys are home 
is a bit out of whack. I used to have my coffee and sit in the lounge and watch a podcast every day and I would keep up with it that way. Uh, but now that my boys are home, I don't get to sit in the lounge and knit and listen to my podcast. It's like, Mom, that's so bloody boring. Do we have to listen to it? So, yes. I do catch every now and again when they're both sitting gaming with their headphones on or something. I do put one of mine on. The other thing I did this weekend, quick, 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 quick. Oh, now we're over 40 minutes. Sorry, people. Is that I loaded all my stash into Ravelry. I took a picture of it. And I loaded everything into Ravelry. It took me most of Sunday to do. A lot of it was already in Ravelry, which was a nice surprise, but a lot of it wasn't. Um, no, there's no D stash. What is there is there. What is there is mine. I love it all, or otherwise I wouldn't have it. Um, so yes, that was big. That was epic. I wanted to load my needles onto Ravelry. But they don't do, all my needles are interchangeable. So I've hardly got any thick circulars. The only ones I do have are, I don't have any straight. The only ones I do have are for my, you know, the smaller sizes for my sock knitting. And Ravelry doesn't cater for interchangeables. Or if it does, I, I, I couldn't find it. So I need to come up with another way of doing that. Because I need, when I want to start a new project the first place I look obviously is, is my needles if I don't have then I go buy and then I think okay what other sizes do I need and I don't I never know I want a list so I might actually have to make a manual list of needles and cables cables that I want to get so I think I've waffled long enough sorry people I must stop saying sorry, because you know what? If you don't want to watch, then bloody turn it off. Freak. Okay. Two cents. A lot. I just want to say, next week, Tuesday, is Christmas, huh? Oh! Is it? 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 16? No. Okay. Never mind. I will see you next week. Two cents. Bye.